That's it. That's it. No more. I'm, I'm, I've had enough. We're cranking it up to 100 this time. And I've had enough. Friendship ended with Casper Cursed. I mean, he was good in theory. I'll be the first to admit it. It's time. Igor Invader, but not just any Igor Invader. Losing is fun. Merciless Igor. Now, as I explained yesterday, but clearly nobody ever listens to me, because why would you want to? It's not as if I explain exactly the problems people then debate in the comment section. The reason I took the exo gear off of Maria is because with that, combined with the limbs and the organs and everything else she had going on, she was literally unkillable. Invincible. As in, will not die. As in, we could not lose. I'm a real gamer, and if there's no way for me to lose, there's no point in me playing. It's like I said yesterday, middle ground bullshit. I don't want her to be invincible. I don't want the wizards to one-shot us. I want to find a nice middle ground where we, through the power of reinforcing infinite resources, the power of our colonists themselves, whatever it happens to be, friendship, maybe even friendship. I want that to be the contributing factor to our victory, not just slapping on a fancy suit, slapping on some fancy legs and calling it a day. No, no, no. We have to earn it. And by earn it, I mean dig up infinite resources and then combine them all into a single very powerful rock. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the plan. No holds barred. We're going to use everything that we have access to here. I was only using Rim Factory for the storage. That has just been revoked. I have altered the deal. Pray I do not alter it further. We're going to take the plasma drills. We're going to use all of these nuclear power plants that I've built to power a thousand million plasma drills. <gasps> Wait, what? I only got... I only noticed it because they're trying to heal one another. Well, you can't do this. We've got Igor Invader Merciless and still the effects from Casper Cursed. You know what? Fine. If that's what you need to defeat me, that's what you need to defeat me. Because we have a secret weapon. A weapon we have not yet tested within these batteries, my friends, is 256,000 watts each. And we have eight of them, which is certainly quite a high number indeed that I can't figure out. Uh, approximately 2.048 million, if my maths is right. So let's take... Maria, and then we send Queen C home, and then I lock her up. Why is it all the other colonists have a constant death wish? We send Maria to the front lines, and then we do it. We go further beyond. What the hell was even that? I don't know, but she's already ripping them apart. Yes! Now, we do it. Nano machines, son. Oh! Nano machines unleashed. Nano machine core has been unleashed, initiating a solar flare. Did it work? That it sucked the batteries up. Every piece of power has been sucked up into Maria. Yes! Plus 25% to everything. You know what? I kind of expected more for 2 million uh, watts of power. But you know what? I guess I'll take it. Watch out for those uh, magic balls. Let's stick to the impression. Look at her. She's so powerful she can fire in two separate directions. Have it launches. Don't kill people. I kill people, Senator. And they're going for the decoys. Oh, this is good, though. Robots go home. I can't send the robots home. There's no power. Ah, oh, shit. What? What happens if I tell them to go home? They just don't do it. Oh, they do do it. We just got to do it individually. Well, that's no fun. Interestingly, people in the comment section were debating why I was getting wiped out by the wizard so fast. They were saying that it was because we don't have any magic defense, uh, which is interesting given that the actual mod itself calls it virtue defense. I even tested it with 49 in dev mode and accidentally forgot to take it off of him. <laughs> virtue is your magic defense. And then there is also arcane defense, which is the stack given on the items that gives them magic defense. In addition to that, I saw a message on Discord from the actual mod creator of Rim of Magic saying that uh, the psi level of your characters, their psychic sensitivity, affects the efficacy of magic in addition to that. I think we're about to die, even with our 2 million watts of power ingested into Maria, because the wizard's summon power is, just to clarify, complete bullshit, actually undefeatable. And regardless of whether or not it's called arcane defense, or magic defense, or virtue, or whatever else, the point is the only way to get that is by magic. And this series, my friend, whoever was complaining in the comment section yesterday, is called Tech Versus Magic. Not called Magic Versus Magic. Not called a little bit of magic sprinkled in with a lot of Tech Versus Magic. It's called Tech Versus Magic. You know what? We're actually going to be fine. Who gives a shit about these wizards? You are nothing compared to Maria. I was a little bit of a close call, I will admit. She's got 7% health remaining. She was almost horribly murdered. Ah, oh, that was good. That was good. That was about the level of bullshit I want. That right there is a perfect example of middle ground bullshit. Where Maria stomps, but she almost gets stomped. Look at that. What is that? 
Careful. You'll have someone die out. That's what I'm trying to get. Not a one-sided victory where Maria is untouchable. Not a one-sided victory where the wizards teleport over and instantly kill her. But a back and forth. A struggle. And that, my friends, is the first victory against Eagle Invader on Merciless. And this is where we need to be. I'm already feeling better about it. Yeah, but like, how fast is she going to heal, though? Bad in mind, she has a healing enhancer. And she has a coagulator. And she has her own healing superpower. The thing that'll really be the challenge. The thing that'll really be the... The bollocks. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> um, you may not have, not have quite yet figured out the severity of this problem. Uh, a, when Maria uses uh, Nano Machine's son. And I'm glad we did it, because that is arguably the thing that kept her alive there, so it was absolutely the correct play no matter what. However, when she uses Nano Machine's son, she also causes a solar flare. That causes an immediate meltdown in every single nuclear reactor, or at least shuts them down. The only way you can turn them back on is with components. And, uh, you may have also noticed we don't have any steel right now, and simultaneously, we don't have any components. <laughs> well, that is what you call, um, poor infrastructure. Ah, oh, shit. Each one of the drills is a thousand steel. Uh, you know what? Let's just start with, like, a few drills, and then we'll go from there. There's the components we need to repair the generators. It's okay, don't panic. Everything's fine. When the solar flare wears off, we'll get the things kicked back on. And besides, it's not as if that's our entire power grid. We've got 10 tidal generators, 11 tidal generators. What about that one? Oh, it is selected. 10 tidal generators, like I said, silly. Can you feel it, Panzerum? Can you feel it in the air? That, my friend, is the sound of a thousand reinforcements the second... <coughs> I'm losing my voice already. That is the sound of a thousand reinforcements, my friend. The second we get those drills online. You pick a weapon and we will make it godly. It doesn't matter the weapon. It doesn't have to be a habit launch or a high-tier plasma gun or some cybernetic framework weaponry. It can be any old shit. Because we're going to have so many resources. We chuck it in the... Well, not that. Uh, We chuck it in that. And then the world is our oyster. I really did not expect this solar flare to go on for so long. That's a, that's a, that's a problem. Do they normally go on this long? Holy crap, already? Well, at least we're being notified about it now. Members from the Cobble ones that arrived nearby. Have you got wizards with you? Oh, you do. That's fun. Not that many wizards, though, fortunately for us. How healed are you? 83%. She can bounce back pretty fast. You know what can't, though? Our entire power grid, it turns out. The power grid is back on. We just do not have the fuel for everything here. They're slowly getting the reactors online, are they? No, they're not. Uh, maybe repair is now a uh, top priority then. How about that one? 49, get to work. Uh, I will take that wizard outfit off of 49 at some point. That would be a plot twist for tech versus, for, for magic versus tech. What if it's an android that's magic? Uh, 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 nobody's allowed to steal that idea. That's copyrighted. No, 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 Maria. God's sake, simple sidearms. I love you, but my god, you will always be a... You will always drive me a little bit insane. No, now she's got the grinder and the fucking... For god's sake! Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Equip that as a sidearm. Pick that back up, she can't. She doesn't have the carry weight for it. Ah! Oh, well, this is just unfair. This is just brutal. My god, what a beatdown! Now, there is a unique effect to Igor and Vader that, of course, no other storyteller has, and that's the fact that every piece of damage with Igor and Vader is doubled. Double the risk, double the reward. And as we saw with that last raid, Maria almost died, well, very, very fast. All it took was teleporting her out of the Embrasure once, and that was the end of her. But that also means that weapons with a much lower damage output, things like the microwave emitter, things like the consistent lasers that just fire non-stop but hit very weakly, those can be good. I I really did misread your name then for a second. Kong... 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 I've gotta be careful how I say that, my god. And over the course of that, look, she's just fully healed. That's fantastic. That was exactly the type of raid we needed. Any raids where they're gonna stand there and wait for a while before they attack? That is a golden ticket. That is a fantastic opportunity. Can we send the robots out? They're all still... Oh, they're all still offline. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Um... Yeah, just like get to rebuilding though. Repairing sandstone in Brazier. You know what? I like that attitude. Well, I had to cancel every single one of the deep drills, but we do have the nuclear grid back online. A nice 600,000 watt excess again. The question is, what exactly can we drill with this? Because I assume that the... Oh. I was about to say, I assume that the monitors don't count. Uh, turns out, yeah, they very much do count. Oh, well, I mean, this... Oh, the world is our oyster. We can mine components up with it, too. Can we now, huh? 
And this just works automatically, doesn't it? We don't have to have people man this. So we can still have Orgthel on the deep drill because he has like 4,000% deep drilling speed. We can still have the mining bots working in the quarries when they haven't got anything else to do. But this can keep our resources to a permanent fixed level. Oh, this could be good though, huh? And then we just overclock the shit out of it because we have so much of a grid excess. Oh man, we're about to we're about to blow this thing wide open. It's gold we're missing. Yes, we need gold. Little drill, that's your job, my friend. How much gold is a reasonable amount? I'm thinking uh, 10,000. <laughs> no, the raids, the raids. You've got to think of the raids, you fool. Um, Maybe 10,000, we'll see how it goes. I wonder if by reinforcing it, it gains as much wealth at, equal to the items that you sunk into it. Because otherwise, we could mine up, you know, a million steel. Which I joke, but is purely, actually, lo logistically possible. We take a million steel, we put it all in a weapon. If it doesn't increase by the same price as the amount of the steel that we put into it, it could be a way to gain a lot of power without making the raids any stronger. That could be a natural strategy. It's a bold strategy. It'll probably break the game, but it's possible. Now, because these drills are automatic, we need uh, deep storage. We need some way to store all of this crap as soon as possible. So I'm going to say, let's get, let's just honestly just bulldoze this entire room. Honestly, just get rid of all of it. And then in here, we are looking for the digital storage unit. Anytime now. There we go. Right, let's throw one of these down there. We'll build one for items. We'll build one for manufactured. The old classic. Do we have the resources for that? We need an advanced machine frame and an AI chip, which I assume is what she's working on right now. Let's move that to the top. And then let's put that one there too, so she works on those first. Do we have the resources for it? We need 20 components, 20 plasteel. Oh, interesting. My god, our plasteels. No, no, no. That's only because it's not in storage. R right? You want to go to night in storage? <laughs> Let's do that and just double check here. Uh, how are we looking now? That's not right. Don't you lie to me. It's all very broken. Oh, there you go. Eight. Oh, looks a little better. 8,000 plastic or 9,000 plastic. There we go. Nice. And then we just throw in all of our raw resources in here. So what I'm going to do is have raw resources, manufactured crap. So weapons, armor, manufactured items. We'll just include that all into the same bracket. And then a sorting unit here. We'll dump everything into the sorting unit. Stuff out the kill box stuff from the deep drills, the quarries, the crafting station. That gets dumped into there. We'll have some hauling bots in here, moving it to the machine it should be in. Oh, look at this. We're getting so close. We've got the plasma drills. I've set them all up. We need to set up the new ones and overclock them and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But we're getting there. We're getting consistent, fast resources. It's not even that fast, to be fair. We've got four drills all working on steel simultaneously. I'll allow this raid. I will allow this raid, because let's be honest, this is going to be one of their final chances to actually full-on stopping us. How are you leaving the safety area, though? How are you doing that? Wait, what? Cleaning? Safe. Oh, I made the cleaning area the safety area. <laughs> Wowee, that might explain a lot of things. I think she will probably handily defeat this raid. I think she's going to absolutely annihilate these little bugs. Sorry, little bugs. It's a brave effort. But between the fire and the toxic damage and the actual damage, the double range, the weapon proficiency, the cooldown, the lot, she's, they're done for. They're done for. Look at the fire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, the whole beach is covered in chem fuel. And now it's on fire. That's a hell of a combo, isn't it? And the best part is even the regular little mini turrets here will probably help out a little bit with uh, what we've got going on here. I'm going to let that robot learn its lesson. Oh, it's running away. Good little robot. They're still pressing on. Man, that was a lot of bugs, huh? To be fair, a lot of them run into the ocean and then put the fire out, but... Man, what a mess. Yeah, I think we're done here. I think we're done. Oh, that's going to get really annoying if you're going to ping me about every single bloody resource. You know what, 49? Don't worry about it right now. I think we're probably good on the resource front. And that's it. We've done it. All of the network bionics. I'm still not sure if I want to plug her arms or legs into the internet just because when the internet gets solar flared, she'll fall on the floor. <laughs> she won't be able to walk. And I don't know if that's the most sensible idea when you've only got a single person. Ooh, they scarred her eye. That's not fair. I don't know if that's a good idea when she is our only, you know, capable combat character. Looks like a pretty poor plan. Now, I'm pretty sure this room can't get any better, right? Instruments, we've got the IV drip, we've got the advanced medical integrator that gives it all that extra efficiency. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Who's the surgeon? It's 49. With his 10 medical skill. Ah, oh, shit. Can we make him a little more qualified first? Give him a scalpel. 
That'll, <laughs> that'll change everything. Hold on, though. If we make him a scalpel, can we change the offsets of that to give him a massive medical bonus? Oh, is that how this works? That's nonsense if it does. It absolutely is. Medical potency, medical 10 quality, and we can change the equip style offset. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's very silly, but we can turn him into a doctor with the world's best scalpel. Who cares if you're perfectly unqualified for surgery? I can I can make you qualified, my friend, with the power of an equipment reinforcer. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Here you go. Uh, the increases are pretty good, too. That first one, I thought it was going to be a bit more disappointing, but actually... Look at this, though. It's going to start becoming diminishing pretty soon, but holy crap. I mean, it's always diminishing. That's how it works. 35% and 23% bonus. I think that'll probably do it for now. We could just let the deep drills mine up another 5,000 steel and go at that again from the from the start, but I think that's probably unnecessary. Let's get that, let's get that scalpel out there, Dr. 49. Best of luck, my friend. Just going for a full skin replacement. He's not qualified. Uh, okay, that's one down. That was the easy one. <laughs> a full body skin replacement was sadly the easy one. What's this one? Oh, full blood replacement. Oh, well, that one was probably the easier one. What's this one? Speed. That's a full neuro system. And then... Ne neuro system? Nervous system. I mean, it's the same thing. Consciousness implant. This is the big one, right? This is the crazy big one. She can't have that and the memory implant. That's fine. And then this is the combat optimization. Now, the consciousness is the best one. So if she can't have... If this one removes the other, we'll just put it back in. It does. Okay, so the consciousness is the important one. We're going to put that one back in instead. God, I hope her brain doesn't shut down when the power goes off. Uh, there it is. Okay, 49. That was all warmer. Here you go, my man. Is he getting a lot of medical skill very suddenly, or is that just me? I genuinely thought that was a raid then for a second while she was under anesthetic. Okay. And this is where the gamble begins. If we get wizards turning up while she's still under anesthetic, we could be in a lot of trouble. She's back up. It's going to be a while before we see the the, the real effects of this because she's still under anesthetic. Looks more or less about right for the time being. I'm really interested to see what the hell disconnected. Oh, so when she's disconnected, her skin is disconnected. Her blood is disconnected. How do we connect her to the network then, huh? That is something to figure out. I also need to make sure that this isn't blocking the machine. <laughs> How do we connect Maria? Did I not build a cybernet access point? Ah, well, that might make sense. Well, let's throw down a couple of those. Then I don't know if we'll need a couple, but we might as well. It's for symmetry. You know how it goes. Oh, no, my skin doesn't work. That's okay. Aesthetics are at stake. <laughs> it should be horrible. You wake up from surgery and your blood isn't working. That's just, <laughs> just fucked. It's <laughs> just terrible. What, like the second you plug this in and turn the button on, you feel your blood start moving? That would just be... That, like, the thought of that is freaking me out. Suddenly, all your blood and skin jump starts. Ugh. What a, what a horrible, horrible thought. I'm sorry I said that. And... There it is. It's on. Okay. Okay, uh, devices summary, cybernet, cybernet summary, here we are. Uh, efficiency offset 10%, bandwidth factor 115%, okay. 13 terabytes consumed, uh, 37 produced, that's a good thing. How, how's she looking? Overclocked. <gasps> Ooh, melee stun duration 2.1. Blood replacement, she's got 18% metabolism, 18% blood filtration, 18% breathing. Speed gives her 1.75 move speed, my god. And then consciousness implant gives 25% consciousness, 42% global work speed for a brain implant that doesn't take up anything else. That's pretty nice. The question is, do we want that or do we want the combat optimization? Makes these are quite combatant at any level experience. What does it do, though? Let's wait for the anesthetics to wear off. Let's get a full list of her stats. And then we'll test the same thing with the combat optimization. And then we'll decide which one we want to keep. The combat optimization needs to give a lot of stats to make up for an additional 25% consciousness. That's pretty huge. Well, hello there. This takes us all the way back to that idea I think I bought in like episode 3. We get the relic gear, we reinforce the relic gear, and that is what Maria takes with us. I thought it was Scarletite, it's not, it's Adamantite. Which is great, because it means we can use a Scarlet Cipher weapons. What does this thing do again? Fire support helmet. Minus 25% aiming time. Hey, that's pretty good, because that's what the tactical helmet gives. Um, yeah, aiming time minus 15%. So it's way, way, way better than the tactical helmet. 
and it's relic armor. We have to get it. Now, how are we going to get it whilst also not leaving this base open to being absolutely ram raided? Well, I'll throw down a few more turrets for a start so we can absolutely afford it. Uh, IEDs? Traps of that capacity? I feel like probably wouldn't hurt. Um, let's put IEDs amongst the barbed wire. You can't do that. That's apparently, that's apparently not allowed. What about landmines though? No? <laughs> it was worth a go. <laughs> um, I mean, flame turrets, those count as dumb AI. They are dumb AI. Oh, man. Go on. I mean, what sort of person would I be if I didn't throw down a few flamethrowers here and there? How, of course, are we going to get to the relics? We're going to get there in style with the Genesis because we've done all the research. Uh, it's 50,000 silver, 2,400 gold, 300 hyper, or even 400 new training. In fact, those are the easy bits to get. We could crack this thing out in no time. We need, like, a landing pad or something for it, though. Uh, <laughs> we've legitimately not got any room. Okay, we can build one up here. And that's as good as it gets. I mean, let's trim back this barbed wire a little bit so our people can actually get around the spaceship without slicing themselves to pieces. 50,000 silver is going to be the hardest bit to get in terms of time. But the drills will just knock that out automatically. It's not as if we have to put any effort into that one at all. Now, these drills up here I've specifically kept around so that we can mine up the resources we need to reinforce the relic gear. Which, in this case, it turns out is adamantite. So, why don't we say mine silver forever and then i'll just delete the bills when it's done and then we'll just mine this stuff forever and just keep reinforcing maria's armor forever i assume we'll need some advanced components that type of thing as well but i mean we could set up a machine that automatically crafts we actually could set up a machine that automatically crafts advanced components forever we just have to fuel the bloody thing uh you know what and in fact we can do it in quite a compact way as well where is uh, assembler, assembly bench, assembly, there it is. Okay, uh, let's just do one of these. Because that's probably the hardest part of all of this now, right? Automatic overclocked assembler mark two. Is that the best one? Prime crafter? Ooh, that looks fancy. Needs five AI persona cores. Ah, you drive a hard bargain and it can make advanced components. Excellent. Sorry, what did you want for that? Uh, five cubit processors, four robotic arms, Five Persona cores. Oh, of course. I'll just uh, just go ahead and throw together those qubit processes now. Work on the Genesis is coming along pretty well. We've cracked out all the big resources, like the 50,000 silver. Now all we need is the 400 new training, the 32 components, the 16 advanced components, the three Persona cores, and then apparently it just takes 17 work to, uh, to glue that all together. Fair enough. I can't complain. I did have to disable building this thing, though, because it occurred to me this thing is 100,000 silver. We've almost got enough now, though. Now with all those drills on mine forever mode. Just went on 49 to crack out the last few vials. I think we've got the Persona cores. We've got the AI cores sorted as well. Wait, what are we waiting on then? Is it genuinely just a new Tramine at this point? Uh, 32 advanced components, 16 advanced components, both of which I'm sure we've probably got. Yeah, we've got that. It's really just down to 49. No, no, no sleeping. No sleeping. Oh, boo. They finished it and I didn't even get to see it because I was too busy trying to work out what the hell they wouldn't put these things on shelves. Well, never mind. <laughs> there it is, the Genesis. So why don't we just go for this quest? It, it, do you think we should wait until the next raid turns up to give us the biggest window? Because it seemed fairly random, the raids that we've been getting. I think we just go for it now. I mean, it's the Genesis, right? If we're caught... Well, I mean, we obviously don't have any subquests yet, but when we get one, we can always just fly there and fly back urgently if it's a problem. And this thing has more than enough silver for it now. So I say we cancel all of the silver drilling. We just go all in on the adamantium. And then we turn Maria into a, <laughs> into a machine. By machine, I meant machine metaphorically. You're not like actually turning her into a machine like every other colonist. I understand why that might be confusing. It needs a simple machine frame, which I'm assuming is a machine frame small. Doesn't actually clarify. What are we lacking for these? Five advanced AI chips, ten advanced components. Uh, is that an advanced AI core? Nothing has the right name. <laughs> Very confusing. That's okay. Oh, God. Hello. Again, this isn't too bad. I think any raids that aren't wizards are probably going to be fine. Unless these guys can summon Maria over. If she's summoned right into the group of a bunch of Chaospawn, we could have... Got a bigger problems, I think. Well, this is all on you, little hammock blasters. Good luck. We've got all those turrets as backup, too, so if they do get too close, we can at least gun a few of them down. Bloody hell. Why did the chaos spawn retreat? Does that not seem a little... Oh, he teleported himself over. The decoys are taking the teleports. Ah! Okay, let's back off slightly. Oh! 
Yeah, it's probably not very good to get hit by lightning when your brain is full of all sorts of cybernetic implants. Wow, that was destructive. That's every single one of our turrets knocked out. Well, not every single one of our turrets, but obviously the turrets in range. Wowee. Okay. I think that chaos magic in, like, sufficient enough groups might be a little scary. Ah, oh, there you go. You have the code that will force it to land at Prairie Well. Is that where we live? All right. Well, I guess so. Uh, this will take all of about two seconds, I assume, with 49's hacking skill. Only 324%. That doesn't seem right. I mean, we don't have to worry about the raids, but it still doesn't seem right. Ooh, and look over there. That's four qubit processors. We'll need one more, and we can build that ridiculous also crafter. Then nothing is is the limit anymore. Wait, is that it? Oh, that's... That's it. I thought they were red. Well, never mind. That's fine. Uh, let's increase the radius, and then let's just say... Uh, you know what? Just drop it on the floor. <laughs> I'm sure we'll manage. Make as many advanced components as you like, my friend. Let's go for, like, ah... Uh, how many is too many? 500? That sounds like too many. How about regular components? Like a thousand? That sounds pretty good. And then that'll just constantly churn them out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fun, isn't it? But there's there's nothing stopping us reinforcing everything now. We're there. Now let's consider for a second, we're going to be swapping out the tactical helmet and the tactical vest. Actually, any outer gear. So the frame, the vest, and the helmet are all gone when we get the relic gear, that is. Is there any... I, I mean, the Omni Spectrum goggles we'll be able to keep, and those use advanced components, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, they absolutely do. Okay, this could be... This could be something. Well, I've only got 48. Is it not within... Wait. Not within range of a beacon. Oh, I know why. Because I sent them over here to go... <laughs> I'm a fool. That's why. Because I sent them over here to make building this a little bit quicker, given that we were dealing with hundreds of thousands of resources. I'll just go ahead and input all of that. There you go. And that should allow us to reinforce this just a boatload. Yep. It oh, we're out of steel. Oh, okay. Never mind. Try again. <laughs> right, we're going we're gonna to make a change of plan here. We're going to tell these to mine steel uh, until we've got 10,000. Then after that, you can mine as much adamantium as you need. Because in the short term... The steel is just going to be way more useful, right? And yes, I know you can copy bills, but it doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. 539 advanced components, 10,000 steel. Surely, surely this is enough to make this decently powerful, huh? Come on. We've got to see some big hits here. Man, whenever it pops up like 1%, 0.5%, my heart breaks. Of all, all, that, all those resources that we've already wasted... <laughs> These Duke drills are going to have to work twice as hard. Bear in mind, the helmet that we're going for has minus 50% aiming time. Therefore, reinforcing it any further, complete waste of time, mate. Done. Done. Look at that. Wait, what? Huh. I guess because you didn't have any equipped queens, you made another set. One thing I've also done as well, then. I've told them to not wear any armor. That is, uh, I mean, obviously, that's force. But even if I can't it, she won't take it off. Don't wear any armor below 50% hit points. Any armor that is below 50% hit points is taken off and thrown into manufacture. Then anything that ends up in there is automatically repaired. However, we have the repairing beds everywhere, right? So the way that works is whenever they sleep, they are going to repair their gear the problem with that is they're mostly robotic at this point and don't need so much sleep. So this is kind of a, a very necessary backup plan. But what that means is when we have this, and, and now that we have this system set up, when we've got gear that's been reinforced with, like we just did, tens of thousands of steel, unless it's destroyed over the course of a single raid, unless it goes from 100% down to 0% in one raid, it's never going to break. Goodbye, steel. No, I'm sorry, this is such a waste of steel. But I mean, look. <laughs> what if we get it down to like 0.1%? Is that even possible? I will try it for science. It's just a shame that the drills are very, very, very slow. Even the fastest drills are still very, very slow. Well, I guess the only solution is building many, many, many more drills. <laughs> it is very silly. But this does put a smile on my face. So I think that is the perfect place to leave it for today. We have uncorked a genie that cannot go back in the bottom with these deep drills. Our colony wealth is going to spiral to ridiculous levels. Yeah, isn't it just? Oh, look, you can even see where we swapped over to Eagle. My God. Uh, we are already dwarfing our previous record for colony wealth. The raids are going to get to disgustingly powerful degrees. More importantly, we have... Was this a raid? 
Oh, no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> More importantly, we've plugged Maria into what, the heart of the cybernetics. We have the Genesis. You know, one of those minor things. Just building the most expensive SR2 ship you can. We have gear reinforced to levels that I never even thought was possible. If we could get that aiming time with the ammo belt down to single... Uh, I was going to say single digits. But if we could get it like 0.1%. That would be absurd. I don't think it could go any lower than that. I think to get to that point would cost us so much deal, it would be impossible, even with this many deep drills. We have a robot that can spit out 500 advanced components in two seconds flat, as if it was nothing at all. And overall, things are going to start getting weird. Tomorrow, the focus becomes get the relics. We have two more. We, we have a village terminal here. We have an ancient installation too. I've got the mod that makes it so those quests will come in faster to make up for the fact that those relic quests have been deleted twice now because of various assorted bugs. Things are about to get very strange and very weird and very, very, very difficult. And when I'm, when I'm satisfied that we've done something particularly crazy, then of course we will head to the Arco Nexus and say goodbye to Maria and friends. But it could be a while yet, depending on how silly we want to get with things. Thank you in the meantime to the silliest people of all, the executive producers, including Master of Gaming 22, Mad Marl, Zetlock, Looper, Sign Mortar, Thomas Law, Little Bicky, Ava, Dranmere, Guardian Easter, Grandma's Mustache Comb, Facundo Vasquez, Oliver, Your Fiala, Waffles and Whiskey, CS Grabo, Dang Lee Wang, Valkyrie, and Andrew DeGaron for their support over at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for your support over there. And a thank you to Quagasol, Plasma, GV, Mystic370, Lazy Panda, Risto, Black Frame, Sandy, Rave Pirate, Platiano, Megador, Luke the Nuke, Kuaka, Akiva, Pockies, Wargaming Dad, and Roger Wilco. Thank you all for your support. I have to go now because I bit my tongue so hard earlier in the episode it made it bleed and it really freaking hurts to speak.